What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to dispel all the myth and misinformation out there about hoverboard batteries. We're going to talk about Samsung uh, hoverboard batteries versus LG uh, hoverboard batteries. We're going to talk about a properly wired battery versus a battery which is not properly wired. So uh, first things first, uh, with all the media attention hoverboards have gotten for catching on fire and exploding, everyone from customs to Amazon to everyone else has really cracked down on these things. So. Um, I would say Amazon should be a pretty safe place to buy. They just recently sent out emails to anybody who's ever sold a hoverboard basically stating that Razor Scooter owns the patent or copyright. So you're basically going to need documentation from Razor Scooter saying it's okay to sell. Um, and then also they're going to want you to have like CE or UL certification basically saying that your, your products have been tested, they're wired properly, they have the proper safety mechanisms and cutoffs and things like that. Um, so I think Amazon is a pretty safe place to buy just because they're requiring everybody to submit documentation. That doesn't mean that people can't have fake documentation or that some people aren't going to slip through the cracks, but it seems like Amazon's really tightened down on these, so I think it's a pretty safe place to buy. What you're looking at right now is a replacement Samsung battery. Um, it's $99, which is a little bit pricey. I mean, you can pick these up on Ali, AliExpress for like 80 bucks, but on AliExpress, I don't know whether you're truly getting a real Samsung battery. Um, this, I believe, is a, a true Samsung battery. It looks as if it's properly wired. Uh, it's 99 bucks. It, it's uh, by Exotic Imports, but let's take a look down at the specs, and I, I kind of like what we see here. So, um, compatible model, so it's going to work in pretty much any uh, self-balancing scooter, 36 volts, which is normal, uh, 2200 mAh, uh, that's also normal. Um, cutoff voltage, it has a cutoff at 26 volts. Um, there's something else. Oh, so then the life cycle of this battery. So they're basically going to tell you how many charges you're going to get out of this. After a thousand battery cycles, so that means charging it up and powering it down, you're going to have 85% battery. Um, after 1,500 cycles, you're going to have less than 85% battery. After 3,000 cycles, the battery is only going to have 70% left. Uh, so it's going to kind of tell you how many charges you're going to get out of this thing. But this is a real Samsung battery. If you're paying less than... $85, you're not getting a real Samsung battery. And even at 85 bucks, it's a toss up. I'm gonna show you two pictures. One is a properly wired battery and another one is not properly wired. So I'll show you the properly wired battery here. And I don't know if you can see this, but each battery cell has an individual wire monitoring it. So that means that each battery cell is individually powered or charged and individually monitored. Now we're gonna look at a, a poorly wired battery. Now, as you can see here, we have basically one strip of metal wiring these four batteries together. So these four battery cells are all wired to this solder. These four cells are all wired to this solder. These four cells are all wired to this solder. So, um, you know, I'm not a mechanical engineer, but let me just explain this to you guys. So let's say this battery cell that I got my mouse on right now goes bad. It's going to overcharge these three cells to compensate for the one bad cell. Well, I don't know if you guys know this, but, uh, Two things that can cause a fire hazard in batteries are undercharged cells and overcharged cells. So um, obviously the, the quality is kind of spotty here. These are basically just e-cigarette batteries. If one of these go bad, one or possibly two or even all three of these batteries are going to be overcharged to compensate for this. Not only are undercharged and overcharged battery cells unhealthy for the lifetime of your battery, like when we just looked at that Samsung battery, you know, it has 3,000 charges before you're under 70% battery of the battery's capacity uh, in the future. If you're constantly overcharging and undercharging batteries, your battery is going to start stop holding a charge way earlier than it should. So A, this is bad for the health of your battery, but B, this is also a fire or an explosion hazard. So again, this is a properly wired battery. If this cell were to go bad because they're all individually wired, it's not going to overcharge the rest of the cells to compensate. It's just this one won't get a full charge. So again, properly wired battery, improperly wired battery. And here we have a Samsung battery, which if it's truly a Samsung, which I, I believe it is, it should be wired like this. Now, the only way to truly know that is to take off this blue shell and start ripping the battery apart. Um, you know, if someone wants to waste a hundred dollars doing that, be my guest and, and, you know, just prove that this is truly a, a properly wired Samsung battery. I believe it is. It's Vic power. This is a quality battery. I've had some of these myself. Uh, but yeah, long story short, you're going to want your battery to look like this, not like this. Um, if anyone needs a replacement 
battery or, you know, heck, maybe your battery just died. Maybe your battery, maybe you're only getting like a half hour charge off your hoverboard or maybe you're worried about the safety of your hoverboard. If any of these things apply to you, you may want to pick up a replacement battery. Make sure it's a properly wired Samsung battery. Um, this one has fairly good reviews. Um, if any of you guys are interested in picking up this battery, I will link in the description box below to where you can buy this battery on Amazon. It's $99 with free shipping. Um, and this is a quality battery. You can sleep easy knowing that your, uh, your hoverboard is not going to catch on fire. So thanks for watching guys. Give a thumbs up. If you like this video, if you know somebody who's in need of a battery, share this video with them. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, check back for more videos, and we will catch you guys on the flip side. Merry Christmas.